All right, when looking to add a little bit of a pop of green and a splash of color to the traditional garden, hydrangeas have been a staple for many in Oregon. But did you know there are many different types? In this week's In the Garden, sponsored by Johnson Brothers Garden Market, KZI 9 News Morning Anchor, Chelsea Deffenbacher shows us just how many types of hydrangeas there are. I'm here with Caleb Johnson at Johnson Brothers Garden Market, and today we're going to talk about one of my favorite flowers, the hydrangea. It's also one of my favorite flowers as well, and a lot of people love hydrangeas, but I thought it'd be fun to just kind of go through all the different types of hydrangeas because not everyone's aware that there's multiple different types. So we'll uh, just go through one by one and let people know that there's options out there for okay. one of uh, America's favorite flowers as well. <laughs> okay, and I'm familiar with the more traditional looking ones, but can we start by talking about these guys? Yeah, so those are climbing hydrangeas, which is uh, really fun. So you can vine them up, some of them vine for uh, several feet. So um, it's uh, a fun way to add that kind of lacy hydrangea area to a trellis or along an arbor or even a, a small fence with a, a climbing hydrangea. Okay, and then what about this one right here? Yeah, so these guys are uh, the last to bloom, the panicle types, and I, I have a bunch of these because they can go in full sun or full shade, and a lot of these are color changing hydrangeas, so a lot of them will start off with a big white bloom, and then as the heat comes in the summer and it fades to fall, they'll fade to shades of pinks or some shade to fades of uh, different kind of almost like a chartreuse green. Um, so these are really fun. Um, there's tons of different options, different heights of those, but the panicles are one of my absolute favorite hydrangeas. And then what about that tall one back there? Yeah, that one also looks like a panicle hydrangea with the bloom, but you kind of look at the leaves and it has, it looks like an oak leaf. Well, it's an oak leaf hydrangea. So um, those are really cool too. They can handle full sun and full shade as well. The oak leaves actually turn a really pretty color in the fall. Um, and the flowers also have kind of a uh, changing effect as we get later into the summer and the fall as well. So really a fun option uh, for our, uh, uh, kind of a unique hydrangea. And what color are the flowers on that one? Uh, they come in whites. There's also some that come in kind of a, almost a reddish pink color. Uh, so definitely um, a different look. For a hydrangea. Okay, and then can we talk about the ones up front here? Yeah, so these are your traditional big leaf um, hydrangeas. They come in a variety of colors, as you can see. Some of them will also uh, be able to change colors depending on the uh, pH of your soil. Um, these uh, need to be grown in morning sun, afternoon shade, uh, but there's fantastic options there. And then a lot of people get confused with the big leaves and then the Annabelle, uh, the smooth types. So they look very similar. Uh, the main difference is the smooth hydrangeas get really big, rounded, kind of lacy flower uh, heads, and they tend to be, most of them tend to be pretty tall as well. So they make a great kind of backdrop to a, uh, an area that you can plant in front of. And do those ones have a white flower on them or what color do they come in? Yeah, most of the, the smooth are almost always in a traditional kind of white flower as well. Okay, well that'll do it for In the Garden. Back to you in the studio.